Voyager in, in some very real sense is, is material that's not from the medium in which it finds itself. The most distant human-made object, NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, is in interstellar space. In the vast expanse of space, humanity's curiosity has led to some of the most incredible feats of engineering, such as the two Voyager spacecraft. Even though these technological marvels have been roaming the cosmos for decades, they're still revealing jaw-dropping discoveries. Recently, Voyager 1 stumbled upon a colossal object hurtling through space, and its discovery has left the scientific community buzzing with excitement. So, what is this object, and how does it impact us? Join us on this exhilarating journey to unravel the mysteries of the object that Voyager just found. 45 years ago, NASA embarked on an interstellar journey of epic proportions, as Voyager 2 was launched from Cape Canaveral. The probe completed a spectacular grand tour of the solar system, visiting the Jupiter and Saturn systems, before going on to explore Uranus and Neptune and their moons. Now Voyager 2 is an incredible 12.1 billion miles away, sending back groundbreaking data on the far-flung heliopause. But with the distance growing every day, scientists are left to wonder how much longer the iconic spacecraft will continue to operate. It all began with a once every 176 years alignment in the 1970s, providing a unique opportunity for NASA to launch the Voyager mission. Voyager 2 was the first of the two probes to launch, followed by Voyager 1 two weeks later. These intrepid travelers carried with them a remarkable artifact, the golden record. This 12-inch gold-plated copper disc was engraved with sounds and images that captured the diversity of life and culture on Earth. Now, Voyager 1 holds the title of the most distant artificial object from our planet, hurtling through space at a mind-boggling distance of over 14.5 billion miles away. The Voyager mission revolutionized planetary exploration, not only in terms of science, but also in proving that it was possible to venture into the outer solar system with just a couple of spacecrafts. Decades after the Voyager missions, NASA is still hard at work exploring our solar system and uncovering its mysteries. The Dragonfly mission is set to reach Saturn's largest moon, Titan, in 2034 while the Europa Clipper will begin studying Jupiter's ocean moon, Europa, in 2030. And now, the National Academies have recommended a new mission, the Uranus Orbiter and Probe, to explore the enigmatic ice giant planets and their moons, set to launch in the 2040s with a budget of $4.2 billion. This mission was inspired by Voyager 2's brief visit to the Uranus system in 1986, during which it flew directly through the plane of the Moon's orbits. The Uranus Orbiter and Probe will specifically target the ocean worlds Ariel and Miranda, which were only briefly glimpsed by Voyager 2 and are dying for further exploration. However, the success of the Voyager missions is unparalleled, even for NASA. The agency has been around for two-thirds of the mission's 45-year existence, and there were no guarantees at the time of launch. The longevity of the instruments on board has been equally impressive. Although designed to last only four years, some are still operational thanks to their consistent performance for over 45 years. These devices have been stepping every 192 seconds for the last 45 years, and it's incredible that they are still functioning. It's challenging to comprehend the speeds and distances covered by the spacecraft, with each traveling at more than 30,000 miles per hour, or 48,000 kilometers per hour. It's mind-boggling to see their odometers ticking up twice a second, adding 10 miles or 16 kilometers or more to their already staggering distance. Although their messages travel at the speed of light, they still take nearly 17 to 22 hours to reach Earth, making us realize how small our world is compared to the vastness of space. But their distance from us only adds to their charm as our interstellar ambassadors. Another milestone was achieved in the incredible journey of the Voyager probes when Voyager 2 recently followed its twin through the bubble that surrounds our solar system. 
It was an astonishing feat as Voyager 2 went from being enveloped in material born in the sun to being bathed by the local neighbourhood in just a few hours, just like its twin Voyager 1 did in 2012. In their time exploring deep space, the two Voyagers have come across and studied massive objects. In fact, over 40 years ago, Voyager 2 made its closest approach to Jupiter, which was a remarkable achievement considering the limited capabilities of its predecessors, Pioneer 10 and 11, that had earlier completed flybys of the giant planet in 1973 and 74. With its advanced instruments, Voyager 2 was able to conduct a more in-depth investigation of Jupiter and its surroundings. Now, imagine a spacecraft that's exploring the vast expanse of space, zooming through the asteroid belt and hurtling towards the Jovian system. That's exactly what Voyager did between December 10, 1977 and September 8, 1978. When it finally reached Jupiter, it wasted no time and started taking snapshots of the gas giant, as well as conducting groundbreaking scientific experiments. On March 5th, it even got up close and personal with one of Jupiter's inner moons, Amalthea, and snapped a close-up photo of it, revealing its oblong shape and a reddish hue. But Voyager 1 didn't stop there. It made its closest approach to Jupiter just five hours later, flying within a mere 174,000 miles of the planet's swirling cloud tops. And on the way out, it swung by and captured stunning images of Jupiter's largest moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto, all of which were first discovered by Galileo centuries ago. The Voyager 1 missions marked a significant scientific achievement by discovering the Jovian system's distinct appearance, revealing a surprising active volcano on Io and detecting two previously unknown moons. On its return to Jupiter, Voyager 1 discovered a thin ring surrounding the planet, providing a spectacular backlit view of the gas giant. These impressive discoveries paved the way for future missions, such as Juno, which recently captured a stunning image of a volcanic plume on Io that was straddling the line between day and night. Although Juno's primary mission is to study Jupiter with a multi-spectral campaign, the spacecraft's four cameras watched the volcanic moon's pole for more than an hour, capturing the unexpected yet exciting discovery of an active volcanic plume shooting material off the moon's surface. And on February 14, 1990, Voyager 1 achieved an incredible feat as it snapped a family portrait of six of the solar system's planets, including our very own Earth, which was a staggering 3.7 billion miles away at the time. The photograph, composed of 60 individual images, was the last set of images captured by either of the Voyager spacecraft. Fast forward 30 years later, and in February 2020, NASA released a remastered version of this iconic image called Pale Blue Dot Revisited to mark the photograph's 30th anniversary. However, for the past few years, these intrepid spacecrafts have been blazing a trail through the cosmos, transmitting back to us never-before-seen glimpses of the bizarre and mysterious realm of interstellar space. These pioneers are the first man-made objects to break free from the confines of our solar system, venturing into an unexplored expanse billions of miles away from their home planet. Their journey has revealed a tumultuous and chaotic universe beyond the limits of our sun's reach, a region that is anything but serene. It's like the plunge pool under Niagara Falls, says astronomer Michelle Bannister, describing the frenzied activity of magnetic fields clashing and pushing against each other in a raging dance. This tumultuous energy is generated by the constant outflow of charged particles known as the solar wind from our sun. As it meets a mix of gases, dust and cosmic rays that permeate the space between the stars, called the interstellar medium, it creates a frothing and turbulent landscape, completely unlike the serene blackness we imagine it to be. And scientists have been attempting to unravel the mysteries of the interstellar medium for many years now, utilising advanced tools such as X-ray and radio telescopes. These efforts have enabled them to conclude that the medium comprises ionised hydrogen atoms, cosmic rays and dust that mix with dense gas clouds to birth stars. However, the nature of the interstellar medium beyond our solar system remains mostly unknown because the heliosphere, a massive bubble created by the solar wind that houses the Sun, eight planets and the Kuiper Belt, shields us from it. 
As the solar system travels through the galaxy, this invisible shield acts as a barrier keeping most of the harmful cosmic rays and particles at bay. The Voyager story, however, is far from over. Even though these spacecrafts have left the heliosphere, they are still affected by the Sun's gravity and other forces. For instance, the Oort Cloud, a remote region filled with ice, dust and debris, is held in place by our star's gravitational pull, and objects in it continue to orbit the Sun. Some of these objects may hold the key to understanding the origins of our solar system and life itself. However, this region is so far away that it remains largely unexplored. Despite their impressive achievements, the voyagers continue to surprise us with new findings. Every piece of data they send back poses new questions and challenges, leading scientists to speculate about what else might lie beyond the heliosphere. For instance, there could be a mysterious hydrogen layer surrounding the heliosphere, as suggested by some theories. Additionally, the heliosphere is headed towards an interstellar cloud, and we don't know what kind of impact this will have on the boundary and on us, inhabitants of the solar system. But where exactly are the Voyager probes now? These pioneering spacecrafts are exploring the vast expanse of interstellar space, billions of kilometres away from their creators on Earth. Voyager 1, the farthest human-made object from our planet, has been hurtling away from us for over four decades and is now over 23.8 billion kilometres away. The distance between the spacecraft and Earth is constantly changing due to the different speeds of our planet and the probes. While the voyagers continue to push further into the unknown, their energy sources are slowly dwindling and their hardware's static temperature is becoming harder to maintain. Despite this, four of the instruments on board are still functioning relaying valuable data back to Earth. In future, both probes will break free of the Sun's gravitational pull and continue on their lonely journey through the Milky Way, long after our star has died. Yet the voyagers may not be entirely alone out there in the darkness. Each probe carries a golden record, a time capsule of sorts, containing a carefully curated selection of sounds and images from our planet. Who knows, maybe someday in the distant future, a curious extraterrestrial civilization will come across these records, giving them a glimpse into the past and informing them that we once existed on this pale blue dot. <laughs>